Chinese Honor Society is offering final exam tutoring to anyone in levels 1 through 5 from May 18th to 20th from 3.15 to 4.15 in H407. Make sure you drop by if you need any help. This week, girls' spring soccer meets on Tuesday from 3.15 to 4.15 in the turf field. And for the ballers out there, there will be girls' intramural basketball on Mondays and Fridays from 4.15 to 6 p.m. in Gym 5. Also, if you're a positive meet and greet person, do sure to come to Usher Society meeting on Tuesday during first break in H307. And if you're interested in the behind-the-scenes action of theater, Theater Tech Club meets today during first break. Do forget to sort your food from your forks in the cafeteria. Lastly, IPOW meets Tuesday during first break in Mr. Craig's room for me. H329. And that's all we have for you today, SAS. Good luck with your APs. And have a marvelous Monday. SAS started back in 1956. Next year, we will be celebrating its 60th birthday. But what is the story behind the school, and how did it get to this point in only 60 years? The story of the school is, it's kind of complicated. It's affected so many lives over such a long time. It's a story of innovation, and it's a story of like individual growth for everyone who's been involved. Um, Our school was built upon a, a community of strong, committed parents that were dedicated to providing the best education to their kids available. SAS started out very small in a, a beautiful old house. And when our school was formed, nobody believed that SAS would grow enough to fill a campus. The first graduating class, you know, was 1958, I think, and it was, it was one girl. So, now it's, I don't know how many. Our school has been known for being innovative since the very beginning. We've always had passionate, inspiring teachers. It grew and changed a lot from there. And 60 years later, it has become the world-renowned school it is today, with a great curriculum and many amazing opportunities to grow and change. So how will we celebrate this amazing achievement? We have a few events planned for next year, but mostly the celebration will be digital. Well, the project that I'm working on for the 60th is um, organizing the archives of the school. Um, we have do documents and items from the very beginning of the school in the 50s um, all the way up to the present, and we're getting them organized and ready and preserved so that uh, we can tell the story of the school in time for the 60th. And these stories will encompass everything from uh, famous profiles of alumni that have really been impactful for students throughout the years to fun facts and stories um, from students themselves and their memories, pieces of, of heritage and old uniforms, um, some of the artifacts that are meaningful for students. So there will be some fun pieces to pull in. We'll have 60 years worth of stories that we'll be releasing digitally throughout the year. And then toward the end of the year, where there will be an alumni event planned, we'll have all of those stories printed into a special edition of Journeys Magazine. Why does this achievement matter? I think it's about the students and it's about the faculty and staff and everyone involved. It's about the people and their accomplishments and the stories they want to tell. As we have heard, SAS's past was very bright and its future is even more